everyone welcome to the channel and in today's video we will learn about priority encoder okay priority encoder but before that i will request you to go through my 4 is to 2 and 8 is to 3 encoder video that will help you to understand priority encoder what does priority means basically this priority basically it means that to prefer something or someone upon others okay so far what we have seen that in encoder at the input side input end only one line is high at a time hmm? and we get binary code corresponding to it but what if we get more than one input lines as high for example here in d0 is 1 and rest all are 0 again d1 is 1 and rest all are 0 what will happen if any one any two of them is high at a time so that we will see in priority encoder suppose d1 and d0 both got high both has the value one at the same time then what will be its output so for the case when d1 and d0 both will be high let's say both will be one then how to decide what will be the value of x1 and x0 in such situation we decide which is the higher like which input has the highest value so in this case d1 and d0 so in this case one is high so at the output we will get like x1 equal to 0 and x0 equal to 1 and what was this is the binary code for 1 so 1 is the highest, 1 is greater than 0, so we will get output as 1, okay. Now let's construct the truth table of the priority encoder, okay. So let's say the input is like i3, i2, i1, i0 and x1 and x0 will be the output lines, okay. Now the first condition, when everything is off, means everything is low then this will be invalid and we denote it as x that is don't care don't care symbol okay now the second case will be let's say this one is on i0 is on rest all are zero then we will get zero zero as output okay why 0 0 output because only i 0 is 1 so we will get 0 0 as output now for third case let's say i 1 is 1 and these are 0 and here we will put x that is don't care why don't care because as i said it shows don't care so here we don't care whether i 0 has the value either 0 or 1 because it, let's say it has 0 or let's say it has 1 in both the cases i1 is high than i0 so what we will get as output so here we will get output as 1 0 and 1 this will be the binary code for 1 this one i1 1 here i1 is always greater than i0 so we don't care whether its value i0 has the value as 0 or 1 so i will always get the as the output as 1 since i3 and i2 are 0 now case 4 when i2 is 1 means i2 is high now i2 is greater than i1 and i0 right but it is smaller than i3 so it, let's say its value is 0 so i2 is greater than i1 and i0 so we don't care about the value of i1 and i0 right so what will be the output in this case 2 is greater than 1 and 0 so output will be binary code of 2 so here we will get as 1 and 0 now let's say the value of i3 is 1 now 3 is greater than 2, 1 and 0. So we don't care whether i2, i1 and i0 is 0 or 1. We will always get at the output as 
1 and 1 that is the 3 okay so this was the 4 is to 2 priority encoder and i hope the difference between the normal 4 is to 2 encoder and priority encoder is clear if not please watch the video once again you will definitely get the concept now we will see its circuit design since the output lines is 2 that is x1 and x0 and the input lines we have the 4 so we have to make 4 variable k map of both the output lines so this is the box for the 4 variable k map okay here we can write i3 i2 and here it will come i1 and i0 let's say we are making the map this k map for x1 so basically here we, we can write 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 again 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 now for x1 when the value of i3 i2 is 0 0 this one 0 0 and i1 i0 is also 0 0 the value of x1 is x so we will write here x again when i3 i0 is 0 0 again this case 0 0 and i1 i0 is 0 1 so this one case here we are getting 0 so here we will write 0 okay for the third case when i3 i2 is 0 0 i3 i2 i1 i0 so this one is 0 0 okay here it is 1 and cross but the meaning of cross is it can be either 0 or 1 so we can make this case as 0 0 1 0 or 0 0 1 1 at both the places we will get x1 as 0 okay so first one is 0 0 1 0 so 0 0 1 0 here again we will write 0 and 0 0 1 1 here again we will write 0 now for the case when both are like i1 and i0 both are x and x means don't care condition so what can be the case if i1 and i0 is x x means don't care so xs can be anything like 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 it can be any of the four conditions but the value of i3 and i2 is 0 1 so for 0 1 this one i1 and i0 has four conditions has this has four condition 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 and 1 0 all these four conditions the value of x1 is 1 so at all the places we will put 1 now for the fourth conditions i3 has the value as 1 and the rest all are don't care we don't care whether its value is 0 or 1 so when the value of i3 is 1 this one i don't care whether the value of i2 is 1 or 0 or i1 or i0 has the value of 0 1 or 0 0 or 1 1 or 1 0 anything i have to check that the value of i3 is 1 the value of i3 is 1 and the value of x1 is 1 so we will put 1 at all the places now we will find the equation for the x1 first we have to make the group of 1 and the group will be always in the power of 2 so we can make this largest group we have to make the largest group and that group will be consisting of the 1 with the power of 2 to the power anything okay so this is one group because the number of one will be in the power of two it consists of the eight ones which is the power of two two to the power three is equal to eight and again we can make this group consisting of eight one okay now let's consider this first one in the first group what is the common the value of i2 1 1 so we can write here i2 rest everything has different so we will remove that now for the second group which we one is common 
the value of i3 is 1 so i3 is common we will write i3 rest everything is not common so the value of x1 is the equation for the x1 is i2 plus i3 now we will see the value of x0 now this will be the k map for x0 let's fill the value for x0 when everything is 0 we have x okay so here everything is 0 0 like i3 i2 i1 i0 so here we will put x now when the value of i3 i2 is 0 0 and this one is 0 1 we will get the 0 so for the value i3 i2 is 0 0 and i1 i0 is 0 1 we are getting 0 similarly we will fill all the box now we will make the group consisting of the largest number of 1 so this will be the one group and the other we can make as this and this because the number of 1 should be in the power of 2 now for x0 we will check the common thing here i3 is 1 so i3 is equal in both the rows so we will write i3 plus in this group what is common so we will check this and this so here i2 is 0 in both the rows so here we can write i2 complement and then again here we will check what is common so here this one and this one is common so we will write i1 now we got the equation for x1 and x0 and we will make the circuit diagram for this so what is first let's say i1 so let's consider this as i0 i1 i2 and i3 now for the x1 what we have i2 this line and i3 as or so here we will write x1 now for x0 we have this i3 so let's say this i3 and i2 bar it's i3 and i2 bar means not get and i1 so this will be the case for i1 okay i2 bar and i1 so this is in the and gate here we will get i2 bar and i1 and then or get with i3 so we can make here or gate and we can put input from this line and here we can get x0 so this is the final circuit diagram if you have liked the video please share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching